Hey, Indy Metro Northeast agents. It's Mandy Sears again with a command um, tutorial. And this is going to be on your agent website that's provided through command. And we're going to learn how to add a new page, which is something I definitely suggest you do. The more information, the more you can keep people on your page, the more likely you are to convert them or get them to reach out to you. So you have to make sure you're giving them value. Um, first thing you're going to do, sign in. I'm going to sign in to command. And then we're going to go all the way over on the left, all the way to the bottom, to the consumer applet. I'm going to click on that. Here you can see all the pages that I have so far. But today we're going to add a new one. So you do that by clicking this big blue button up here on the right. Create new page. So it automatically goes to on my site. And this is what we're going to do today. But if you were going to create a landing page, you would just choose this option rather than this one. But today we're going to do on my agent site because I'm going to add it to the menu. So I'll choose that and click create page. So here's our page. And the first thing I'm going to suggest that you do is change the name because we don't want the name of the page to be new agent site 5W blah, blah, blah. We want this to be a very simple name that people can remember. So we're going to name it testimonial form because that's the kind of page I'm going to make today. So now I want to go over here and drag one of these widgets over. Now, since it's going to be the testimonial form, we're going to get the testimonial capture form. And we're going to bring it over and you see the green line. That means this widget is going to be dropped above. That's what we want. Okay. So this is the testimonial capture form. Now, don't worry about it. You can uh, customize this. No problem. But first, before we customize the testimonial capture, I'm going to add a banner, a header to this web page. Real simple, but we don't do it in widgets. We do it in content blocks. So image is the content block I want to use. So I want to bring that over here. And again, I want to make sure that that little green line before I let go, that the image is there. It's going to drop in above that little green line. I'm going to let go. Now it's going to tell me to click to upload my image. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload this image. Okay. So the thing about this image, if you can tell, is it's justified to the left. I want to fix that because I want it stretched over the whole page. So in order to fix this, while image is selected, see the blue box around it? I'm going to go to this little paintbrush and then I'm going to go to dimensions and see where it says width is 100%. That's cool. But max width is set to 1024 pixels. I don't want that. I want this set to 100%. So I'm going to click inside this box, get rid of the 1024, make it 100. And then I'm going to click on pixels and change it to percent. And now see... We have it, and it's, I'm not quite sure why it's leaving this little bit over here, but it is. Uh, but if you look at it on a tablet and a phone, it goes across the top. That's what I want. So that was a real quick, easy fix. So if I click these little four boxes, it'll take me back to my normal page. So now I want to configure this widget and maybe change up what it says just a little bit. So in order to do that, I click on this and I click configure widgets. And every once in a while, it'll tell me that it can't be configured. There it is. Testimonial capture. That's the one we want to configure. So if you have a team name, this is where you would input that. If you're an individual agent, you could input uh, your business name. So I'm going to make this GPS Real Estate. That's the name of my business. And let's go down. That's the team name. Now, headline text is actually going to be right here. Headline text. Um, please, whoops. Please 
leave us a review and you've got 60 characters so make sure you don't go over that about your client experience okay i'm at 53 i'm cool um then if you want to change the description which is what's in this little paragraph right here this is where you can do that i'm going to leave that right now and then review headline how would you rate your experience that's a pretty good one as far as i'm concerned and then they have a little box here where they can just type so i'm pretty happy with this layout so i'm going to click click save and apply apply again and it just doesn't there it is now it's it's updated please leave a comment about your client experience i'm not real crazy about how big that is so i wonder if i take the word please out if it'd all be on one line save and apply leave a comment about your client experience now it worked okay so everything looks good it's called testimonial form i have my image i have my form i'm going to click publish page would you like to continue to cite an app settings because we want to add this to our active site yes click yes so here it says agent site pages and here's the ones that are in my active menu right now but i want to add this new page so i'm going to click add page and then it's going to show me all the pages i've got well testimonial form that's the name i created that's the one i want to add so i want to click continue now we need to rename this to testimonial form and instead of new page on the slug i suggest you name it the same as your title unless it's really long then just kind of shorten it and if it's a contact page instead of contact us you could just make it contact if it was an about you page instead of saying about gps real estate you could just write about just keep it simple here is your seo description just kind of tell google and all the search engines what is on this page here's where i'm going to add please leave a comment and rate your good lord your client experience with gps real estate okay it does have uh, a limit and it's not showing it right now because i haven't reached it but i believe it's 155 characters and if you go over it it will show you uh an error and just make sure you don't go over it i'm going to click save settings were updated successfully and you now see testimonial form is over here and i want that to maybe be right here so you just click on the dots and then you can just drag it to wherever you want it as far as the order of your menu goes okay so i'm going to go back to my page i'm going to click home page and I'm going to click refresh so that I'm sure it shows up instead of a cached version, one that was already on my browser. It's going to force it to reload the page so that my changes will show up in the menu. Okay, so menu, see here, testimonial form. And here is my page. See, it's really simple. Um again if you go back to the home page for under consumer you can create a new page a new landing page you can do a few other things to customize your website you want to do this google wants to know that you're updating your website that it's got updated useful and unique content you don't want to just leave your website the way kw puts out the template because it's a copy of everybody else's that hasn't updated theirs you want to make sure you brand it to your name you want to change the url you want to add pages maybe you want to add a landing page these are all things that are going to customize this and make it more about you so that when people are searching the internet they can find out the information that they want to find out 
So make sure you update your command website. See you on the next one.